So just to get right into it, you guys, we're going to start off with some blow dried hair. And the first braid hack that we are coming to y'all with is the pre parting hack. Okay. And so there are two main components for pre parting. And we'll get to the other in just a second. But the first component is row based pre parting. I like to personally call this row based pre parting. I don't know what other braiders call it out there. But I like to call this row based pre parting simply because you can part out all of your rows and sections to know exactly how big your client's head is, exactly you know how many rows you will need to actually have to meet the size requirement that your client likes. This literally gives you the blueprint to know everything that you need to know and be prepared to start braiding. So my client in this video is getting medium knotless and for medium knotless the amount of rows I like to part is six rows total and I like to braid them out the way so that I can see fully what these rows look like if I need to adjust anything and I do not use product. Please do not use product during this pre-parting phase because this will make the hair harder to move part braid later on because product was sitting on there for an hour to two hours or however long and now it's harder to move the hair around so do not put braiding gel on it until you're ready to actually braid and add in hair and all of the things like i said for my client in this video she got six rows for her medium knotless that way you can see everything that you need to see crooked lines small row to big row all of the things before you start braiding the second component to pre-parting is brick layering and this ensures that your braids are not sitting on top of each other creating a smooth full and flat look just like a sewing. Brick layering ensures that you can complete the style that can still be full and lightweight for your clients. The reason why they call this brick layering is because it's similar to building a brick house. When they build brick houses they do not put bricks on top of each other they put them in between every other brick so that it creates a staggered kind of look and that's exactly what brick layering does for braiding now when you are pre-parting your your parts in each row you do want to apply gel for that one row but never any row that you're not actually currently about to braid in the next 30 or 45 minutes and as you can see each new part that I create is falling in between the two braids that are below and you will use each braid that is in the row for this method um, one tip that I would like to add is that not all of your brick layer parting will be perfect some will be slightly smaller and some will be slightly larger um, this comes a part of the braiders intuition which is your ability as a braider to know what would be best in terms of fullness sizing as well as what would be healthiest for your client's hair so hope that helps with you making your parting decisions and here it is again in the next clip of me just showing you how those braids are supposed to lay okay each part in between the other okay so just part in the middle between the braid that you already have braided and the braid next to it and that will help you get your box just wanted to poke my face in and say hey y'all okay we are getting into hack number two it's really really quick you just want to make sure all your pieces are even that's it that's going to create a strong foundation okay braid hack number three is feeding in the hair okay so you want to make sure that your pieces are smaller or the same size as the three strands that you have in your hands because this will create a strong foundation for your braid and you can slightly adjust how big your braid needs to be as you braid further down okay and this is a part of your braider's intuition because you have to know how much hair you need for the thickness, the size, and what's healthy for your client's hair. So make sure you're doing that full assessment because it will be the exact same process with boho curls except boho curls will be sticking out and do not contribute to the primary weight of the braid. It's usually the braiding hair that is heavier so with the boho curls you just want to feed it in like you would your braiding hair braid it down a couple of times pull it out from either side and clip it away pull it away and continue braiding down 
um, and you want to make sure this is pretty tight and that it's long enough for the curl to stay in because some curls can slip out and we want to prevent slippage so make sure you're braiding enough hair into the braid and here this process is again just to show you guys how much hair you should be adding in to braid down so that the curl is not slippable okay so at least about three inches in so if you get 22 inches worth of hair expect the curl coming down to be 18 inches so always get longer or shorter depending on what you're actually going for because three inches of that length will actually be braided into the knotless braid and now for the fourth and final braid hack you're going to want to feed in your boho piece but this time you're not going to pull the curl out the way you're just going to feed it in like a regular piece of braiding hair split the curl into two because we're going to get prepared to seal this with a knot and really seal the entire ends of the boho curl okay this is the process of what it looks like to seal it with a knot you're going to take a very small tiny piece and wrap the curl around with your finger and pull it through the loop that you create I'm going to show you guys again with in slow motion wrap it around twist pull it through with your thumb and index and knot it some people use glue I like to use the knot method but my clients don't have to deal with any white residue that might come up from the glue and then you just want to clean up with your braids be careful during this process because you can't snip off the braid and these are the top four braiding hacks for boho knotless braids. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Like this video and feel free to leave any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment box and I will get to you guys as soon as possible. See you guys in the next video and peace.